Copeland, Odessa, and Big Spring. This is ABC Big 2 News at 10. Developing now at 10, a fire at a local apartment complex. Flames broke out this afternoon, sending lots of smoke into the sky and leaving some families without a home. Firefighters are mopping up the scene tonight. Thanks for joining us. I'm Rob Tuke. We begin with that fire in Big Spring and what we know so far. It happened this afternoon around 415 at the Bent Tree Apartments. And that's not far from the Big Spring State Park by Wasson Road and Marcy Drive. Now this image from a viewer shows a thick plume of black smoke billowing above the complex and the next video a lot closer to the unit on fire. You can see some flames rising from the top with fire crews on those stairs. The mayor of Big Springs said a citywide response was involved including units from Howard County and from Midland. One housing unit was destroyed. The mayor said on the phone he believes one person was taken to the hospital with minor injuries. Now eight to ten families have been displaced tonight and within the past hour the city deactivated the alert as the flames have been knocked down and as the last family left a temporary shelter at Howard College. Now to our other developing top story tonight. The U.S. is ramping up their economic restrictions on Russia. Russia is escalating their attacks on cities throughout Ukraine. In the southern city of Maripol, attacks on civilian convoys have been made, have made rather escaping nearly impossible. Residents and people have been living under constant shelling and bombing for more than 10 days. And people in Odessa, Ukraine, are preparing for an attack by Russian forces. The country's largest port city is located on the Black Sea, and it's known for its beaches and architecture. Despite the snow, residents and people took to the streets to make sandbags together as a choir serenaded them. They covered a nearby statue of sandbags to protect it from any artillery fire. Now tonight, Russian President Vladimir Putin re reportedly considers Odessa, Ukraine strategically important. What's your message to Vladimir Putin? Only one message, stop the war, it's our country, go, go away. But Ukrainian forces are resisting the onslaught. ABC's John Finoglio reports tonight Russian forces are bombing areas around the capital, Kyiv. They're miles outside of the city and they hope to capture it soon. On the outskirts of the capital city of Kyiv, Ukrainian soldiers are trying to hold the line from advancing Russian forces. Putin's war machine is expanding its onslaught across the country, for the first time striking the central city of Dnipro, targeting apartment buildings, a shoe factory, and a kindergarten. <laughs> Missile strikes also hitting airfields in the west, near the Polish border. But perhaps no city has been hammered harder than Mariupol in the east. Local officials there calling it a slaughter, saying 1,500 people have died following more than a week of relentless shelling. Now we understand that uh, their wish is Ukraine without Ukrainians, so they are killing as much citizen as they can. But there is evidence that Ukraine is slowing Russia's offensive. The Pentagon says that 40-mile convoy has stalled nine miles outside of Kyiv. Satellite images appear to show it has been dispersed, taking cover in nearby forests. President Biden announcing even more sanctions against Moscow Friday. The U.S. and its allies revoking Russia's most favored nation status and banning imports of Russian vodka, diamonds, and seafood. Revoking PNTR for Russia is going to make it harder for Russia to do business with the United States. Putin is an aggressor. He is the aggressor. And Putin must pay the price. Yeah. Today, at a meeting of the UN Security Council, Russia claiming without evidence the US is supporting a bioweapons program in Ukraine. I will say this once. Ukraine does not have a biological weapons program. There are no Ukrainian biological weapons laboratories supported by the United States, not near Russia's border or anywhere. The U.S. warning that such Russian fabrications could be used as a pretext for a chemical attack on Ukrainians. We have serious concerns that Russia may be planning to use chemical or biological agents against the Ukrainian people. We believe Russia could use chemical or biological agents for assassinations as part of a staged or false flag incident 
or to support tactical military operations. There are signs of hope amid the carnage. This pregnant woman who was rescued from a bombed out maternity hospital in Mariupol earlier this week gave birth to a healthy baby girl. And that was John Finoglio reporting the war in Ukraine has left an impact on many in the basin. Tonight, one couple in Midland is using their business and technology to help support families escaping the violence in Eastern Europe. You know, so we have a little bit different levels, sizes there. And that's Ginger Schantz, co-founder of Venture Robotics just off Andrews Highway in Midland. She was showing the 3D printed ring, just one of many, that she and her husband, co-founder Dan Schantz, have created. For the past week, they are printing rings and then they're selling them. But not just that, they are donating 100% of the proceeds to groups helping refugees in the countries Moldova and Poland. Um, we really felt that there's got to be something we can do. We always talk about what, what can we do and why don't we try to design something that we can sell. As of today, we've raised more than $1,200. Well, this is for supporting people in Ukraine that <coughs> don't have what they used to have a week ago. Right. It can take an hour and a half to three hours, depending on the size, to make a set of nine rings using the 3D printers. They are made using a plastic-like material, and then heat is applied over time to form a set. So far, they've made between two to 300 rings. They are asking for $10 donations, and like Ginger said, they've raised more than $1,000 already. We are sharing details on yourbasin.com. And now, your local weather authority forecast. Tonight we're taking a live look now from our Midland Tower Cam. It was a cold, cold morning. ABC Big 2's Bridget Sarpong has a check on our weather for us. And now your forecast first on ABC Big 2 News. Good evening, friends. The weekend has arrived and yet a cool one. However, the sun did come out for West Texas to be able to enjoy a high of 59 degrees. Our lows today came down to 20 degrees. Usually around this time in March, we're definitely used to our highs sitting at 71 degrees and our lows sitting at 43 degrees. I'll have more of this weekend's warming up forecast later on the show. Back over to you, Rob. Oh, well, thank you, Bridget. Now in Florida, we are looking at some storm damage overnight. A lot of the damage was in the area of central Florida in Acala. Now a strong line of storms moved through, leaving several buildings damaged in Marion County. Much of the heaviest damage, like I said, was in the Ocala area with high winds sending trees crashing down. And at an apartment complex, residents are picking up the damage. Now along the East Coast, winter storms are also impacting thousands this weekend. It's being called a late winter blast. Here's ABC's Ellen Lopez with the details and the damage. A late winter storm dumping snow from Louisiana up through to the northeast. Memphis, Tennessee hit with more than two inches of snow. Bill Street usually crowded on the weekends, empty as the wintry mix moved in. Residents in Tupelo, Mississippi, urged to stay off the roads as the city got a dusting of snow. Tornado warnings in place Saturday morning for parts of central Florida and Georgia. Beachgoers in Fort Myers, Florida running for cover as this water spout moved onto the beach. Parts of the Carolinas through to southern Virginia also seeing strong winds and the potential for tornadoes. Tens of thousands without power from Florida to Pennsylvania. That storm now moving along the east coast. Parts of central New York could see six inches of snow. Some residents in the northeast are not happy about this late winter blast. I definitely uh, do not like the snow and I'm looking forward to warmer temperatures. Hundreds of flights have already been canceled for today and while it feels like we are stuck in the winter, the good news is that the storm will be out of here by the end of the weekend. Elwin Lopez, ABC News, Atlanta. Well, coming up tonight, the Cowboys swung a big trade today. We'll tell you why and the details. Plus, one rescue dog is headed to Hollywood. How the canine hero went from the shelter to saving a boy's life. And we have a programming change to tell you about. Tomorrow, the first Odessa broadcast will be preempted by ABC at 11 o'clock in the morning. You can watch the live service at 
livefbcodessa.com. We'll be right back. PRA returns to the Midland Horseshoe for the Permian Basin Spring Stampede Pro Rodeo. Sponsored by All-American Chrysler Dodge Ram of Midland on Friday, April 1st and Saturday, April 2nd. Come enjoy loads of family fun with rodeo entertainment and plenty of excitement. From bull riding, barrel racing, to buck and broncos, even mutton busting. For tickets and more information, visit MidlandHorseshoe.com and come see us for the Permian Basin Spring Stampede Pro Rodeo at the Midland Horseshoe Arena. And now, most admired alum. Get up there. This is so embarrassing. There's no way it's me. <laughs> you know her. You love her. Ruh -ruh. What are you doing here? It's Anna Gomez! Who? Our first gazillionaire. With AT&T Fiber, Anna's got the fastest internet with hyper gig speed. I didn't know you went to the school. I have a lot in common. Live like a gazillionaire with AT&T Fiber. Now with speeds up to 5 gigs. Limited availability. The Cavender Spring Roundup sale is going on now. And you can get 10 bucks off select men's and ladies' jeans from Wrangler, Period, Cinch, and Rock and Roll Denim. Going on now at Cavender's. Abrams, 9 o'clock, telling it like it is, now at a new time. Here's where I'm coming from, here's what I'm thinking. Dan Abrams live at his new time, 9, 8 central, weeknights on News Nation. News for all America. Russia invades Ukraine. A News Nation exclusive now, a former KGB spy. He is describing Putin as a war criminal. I know he will never give up. Continuing coverage on Russia at war. Stay tuned to News Nation. Save thousands on the new Revolutionary Swim Spa at a one-time sale. Today and tomorrow. Hector County Coliseum Odessa. Exercise with low impact. Swim the entire year and stay in shape. Teach your kids to swim. Unwind and save thousands. Avoid the expense and maintenance involved with a pool. Swim, exercise, and relax in your new aquatic exercise swim spa. Installation in one day only. New 2022 inventory. 18-month interest-free financing. Millions of dollars of inventory must be sold. Hector County Coliseum Odessa. Free admission. Free parking. Call 855-SPA-SALE. Why would Standard Optical choose a spokesbird? They're not your typical eye care company. I'm not your typical penguin. We're a team. There's no eye in eye care. Wait. <laughs> Get two pairs of glasses plus a free eye exam, anti-glare lenses, and same-day service for only $79. Get ready for your day with meteorologist Ryan DePhillips. Now, your local weather authority forecast. Hey friends, the weekend has arrived, and you know what, even though it felt kind of cold, the sun did come out, causing our temperature change to increase today. Mid and Odessa, 15 degrees warmer. Big Spring, 11 degrees warmer this same time yesterday. Snyder, 12 degrees warmer, and you know, there were, there were some other areas that didn't even reach their, you know, double digits getting warm. However, like our friends of Presidio, warmed up by 5 degrees, so definitely not too bad for the basin. With that warming up and the sun in the area and in the sky, today we're able to enjoy a high of 59 degrees. Our lows in the 20s, literally sitting at 20 degrees. Our highs usually around this time in March. We're definitely used to a high of 71. Our lows around this time, 43 degrees. So yeah, we did come in pretty short for today, but really the entire week has been cold. And you know what? I'm excited to show you guys that it will be able, we will be warming up. Taking a look at the entire Permian Basin, everyone pretty much seeing their upper 50s to lower 60s. Middle Odessa tied with Big Spring sitting at 59 degrees. Snyder, <laughs> Seminole sitting at 58. And also tied Tying with Snyder, our friends in Presidio stayed warm, sitting at 63 degrees, and then Van Horn sitting at 61. So definitely not too bad for the basin. Currently, right now, we are in our 30s, but that dew point is sitting at 16 per is our humidity sitting at 16%. Our dew point is sitting at 8, and our sunset did go down at 655. Yes, a cool, windy kind of evening, but as we make our way into Sunday, temperatures will rise. For our early mornings, we will be sitting in our 30s, but by when we get into the afternoon, we will see temperatures increasing to 59 degrees. And I'm really excited because we actually warm up into our 70s a little bit over at 6 o'clock. And then we get into 7 p.m. That's when we do go down into our 60s. 79 degrees for Presidio by 7 p.m. And then 68 for the Odessa and Midland area. So not bad whatsoever. And then we get into Monday. And that's when we do see that cold front coming on in. But that cold front won't stay in the basin for too long. Going into tomorrow morning, we do have a 
day, great, great day planner. So we'll sit at 31 degrees, a very cool kind of morning. Then we make our way into noon, warming up at 58 degrees. That sun's going to stay in the basin, so definitely not too bad whatsoever. Then by 68 degrees, by, <laughs> by 68 degrees, we will be sitting that at 5 p.m. Warming up really close to our 70s, so not bad whatsoever. A very windy kind of day for the basin. We're going to continue to see some of that wind as we make our way into Sunday 4 p.m. We will be sitting in our double digits, so definitely not too bad whatsoever. I do want to say hold on to whatever you will be wearing into Sunday because it will be windy. We're going to have a cool start at 29 degrees, but the sun is going to come out. Winds will be traveling in the teens, 10 to 15 miles per hour. But that seven day forecast, I'm excited to show you guys because it shows that we're not going to have any rain whatsoever. We're just going to have a whole bunch of sun and with sun comes some warm temperatures. Tuesday, we will be sitting at 71 degrees and then Wednesday, I'm excited. Between the middle of the week, we're sitting at 82 degrees. Rob, I mean, hey, we can bear the 60s and then we get into, you know, 71 and then we get into, you know, 82 degrees. So I'm really excited about that. Well, anything for some sunshine, hopefully all this orange that we're wearing tonight will <laughs> yes. do us some good. <laughs> yes. All right, thanks a lot, Bridget. Well, the age-old saying, every dog has its day, is proving true. One lucky dog is getting more than just a day. She's getting her own Netflix movie. ABC's Gary Baumgarten has more on this heartfelt story of Ruby, the rescue dog who wound up saving a life. Say hello to Ruby, a rambunctious pup with a remarkable story, one that saw her go from an unwanted shelter dog to a life-saving canine officer. She was deemed unadoptable. She would go home and either destroy their house, uh, try to try to nip at them. Ruby was returned to the Rhode Island SPCA shelter five times, but volunteer Patricia Inman never lost hope she would find the perfect home, even as concerns grew that Ruby would have to be put down. Those fears disappeared when state trooper Daniel O'Neill came searching for a dog to turn into a canine officer and saw potential in Ruby. Years after completing her training, Ruby's canine skills were put to the test. It was a young boy that had been missing for 36 hours. Ruby ended up going off by herself and searching an area. And when I went to chase after her, I came around the corner, and all of a sudden there was a young boy sit, uh, laying on the ground. And in a dramatic twist of fate, the boy whose life Ruby helped save was the son of Patricia Inman, the shelter worker who fought to keep her from being euthanized. It's just, yeah, mind-blowing. Now Ruby's heartfelt tale is getting a Hollywood makeover, with Netflix adapting it into a movie. You think he could be a canine dog? She could be anything. The flick, Rescued by Ruby, premieres on Netflix March 17th. And that was Gary Baumgarten reporting. And now, your ABC Big Two Sports. Now over to sports with Avi Cargloth. Avi, the Cowboys have already made a big move early in the offseason. Yeah, you could call this one of their biggest moves to make. This was a departure that many foresaw coming a while ago. The Dallas Cowboys have agreed to trade wide receiver Amari Cooper to the Cleveland Browns, which... As a Browns fan, I am extremely happy about this news. Cooper goes to Cleveland for a fifth round pick. That's it. And the teams, I guess, also agreed to swap six round picks. All those picks involved are for next month's draft. The deal is pending a physical and is expected to be finalized by the middle of next week. Dallas entered the offseason with loads of questions about their receivers. They had Michael Gallup and Cedric Wilson set to be free agents, and Cooper on a contract with three years left, they'll pay him $20 million. Yes, right, $20 million each year. Also, CeeDee Lamb, he's still under contract, and he'll presumably take over the top receiver spot on a cheaper rookie contract. The Browns, meanwhile, they needed a number one target for their flailing passing attack after the Odell Beckham experiment didn't exactly work out, and Jarvis Landry expected to get cut. Cooper who turns 28 in June. He ranked top 10 in the NFL during his time with the Cowboys in targets, catches, receiving yards, and receiving touchdowns. All right, Big Ten Championship game, Texas Tech, Kansas, for the Big 12 title. That's Ochai Ajabi knocking a deep three to put the Jayhawks up two late in the first half. 
Tech down three. Adonis Arms rips a pass to Marcus Santos Silva for the dunk. A one-point game at the half. In the second half, David McCormack puts in the hook shot, plus the foul. Jayhawks will go up four. But later in the second half, Tech would lead by one. In transition off the turn, but look at that. Nice. It's a rip away steal here. Kevin McCuller to Terrence Shannon. Got the bucket. Red Raiders up one. Second half still. Kansas up three. Jalen Wilson. Nice. Gets a nice pass here. Nice interior move up for the layup. Kansas up five. After a 10 to 2 1. Moments later, it's a four point game. Christian Braun takes it all the way, lays it in. Jayhawks, with after a close one early, they would end up winning by nine. They are your Big 12 champs. All right, UTPB baseball opening a four game series at home facing the Cameron Aggies. Second inning up two with two on base. Michael Clapperton hits a chopper to second. He's out. Aggies try to turn two at third. No dice. And easily. De La Cruz. He scores easily and he makes it a three run lead. Pitching has been an issue for the Falcons. Ed O'Bannon trying to hold it down the top of the third. He gets a pop up in the infield and who's got it? You got it. I got it. Oh, Clapperton wants it too. A slight collision but O'Bannon makes the grab and gets a nice little hug from his shortstop. Teamwork makes the dream work, folks. And O'Bannon, <laughs> he gets the put out there. And then later with runners on, O'Bannon slows it down, gets the inning-ending strikeout. Falcons again rely on their offense, but they get some pitching help, and they win by 10. All right, Midland College baseball with a home doubleheader against New Mexico Junior College. Chaps down big in the third inning of the second game. Evan Herbert still throwing a nasty pitch here. And batter, yep, he did go around, and Herbert gets a swinging strikeout. But the next batter, he would not be so kind. Jesse Herrera tattoos that ball to the trees behind right field. Wasn't too far off loop 250. His two-run shot gives the Thunderbirds a 13-4 lead. And then Chaps, they had a chance in the bottom of the third to play a little catch-up. But with two runners on, Matthew Sandoval gets rung up on a 2-2 fastball. Chaps squander that scoring chance, but runs would be all over in the second game. Chaps win the first game 5-2. And then, and look at that. Look at that score. Midland College, though, they sweep the doubleheader. All right, the Jackalopes, they hit the ice again against the Amarillo Wranglers at the Exeter County Coliseum. First period set a physical tone for the game. If there are a number of fights breaking out early left and right in the opening period. Trevin Tallian got two minutes in the penalty box for his role in this scuffle. And then Amarillo, though, taking advantage of an opportunity here. Inside pass, CJ Zazima puts it through for the Wranglers. They would go up one to nothing. But in the waning seconds of the opening period, a big scrum involving Ryan Kussler, a Wrangler, and the ref, they all go down onto the ice. A ref sandwich there. They had them out of their seats at the Coliseum. Though Jacks, though, they would actually play some hockey and net a few in the back. They would rally and win 3-1. to one. Uh, So, Rob, again, back to the news to open the sportscast. Amari Cooper to the Cleveland Browns. I am a Browns fan. I am elated. I hope this take doesn't come back to haunt me, but getting a top-tier guy. But for the Cowboys... It makes sense, too. They want their guys back. They want a cheaper deal. So, you know, all sides hopefully are happy by the end of this. Yeah, I know you've been talking about it all day. I'm happy for you, obviously. Good news for you on a Saturday. <laughs> I'm interested to see how uh, he's going to get along with uh, Baker. Baker, if he is the guy coming back. We'll see. Yeah, it'll be interesting. All right. Thanks, Avi. Still ahead tonight on ABC Big Two News at 10 o'clock, Shrinkflation. Now consumers beware why some companies are shrinking the product they put on the shelf. Just three words tell you everything you need to know. They tell you why we employ more than 2,000 workers at our factory in Virginia Beach. Not everyone can say them, but we can. Made in America. Visit your local dealer for the Made in America BGA 57 battery blower. Real steel. Find yours.
Distracted driving can happen to anyone, anytime. Eating, doing your makeup, and the number one culprit, texting and driving. Did you know that texting and driving is six times deadlier than driving under the influence of alcohol? If you've been injured in a wreck from distracted driving, call HQ Chiropractic anytime, 24-7. HQ Chiropractic will get you the help you need when you need it. Think premium can't be capable? Think again. The GMC Sierra AT4. Premium and capable. That's professional grade from GMC. Or claim your purchase allowance on 2022 Sierra Limited Elevation Crew Cab models for an MSRP under 47,000 on this Sierra. Hot tub, hot tub, hot tub. Millions of dollars of factory drive 2022 inventory. Today and tomorrow, Hector County Coliseum Odessa. Over 100 hot tubs on display and everything must go. Hundreds of spas in stock. All inventory 30 to 60% off. Come see the revolutionary swim spa in action and save up to 60%. Trade-ins welcome. We'll even haul away your old hot tub. 18-month interest-free financing. New 2022 inventory. Millions of dollars of inventory must be sold. Hector County Coliseum Odessa. Free admission. Free parking. Call 855-SPA-SALE. Real Steel. Find yours at steeldealers.com. Well, new at 10, consumer prices are seeing the biggest increase in 40 years. And now some companies are falling into a trend called shrinkflation. Instead of giving people sticker shock by raising prices directly, they're just shrinking the amount of product in the package. When Johnson Americans has more. feeling the financial squeeze from gas prices soaring 38 percent over last year to the cost of food up nearly 8 percent. Now experts warning about product downsizing known as shrinkflation. Just in the past three months, I've found you know a dozen items that have shrunk. That is far more than usual. That's amazing. Consumer advocate Edgar Dwarski tracks items on his website offering less product at the same price. Fuel your grind with Gatorade's proven formula. Like this Gatorade bottle, downsized from 32 to 28 ounces. Charmin Ultrasoft Mega Rolls. It's two times more absorbent, so you can use less. Dropping from 264 to 244 sheets per roll, Dwarski says. They just lost 20 sheets. In an 18-pack, that's like losing a roll and a half. Shrinkflation hitting everyday items, from snacks to fast food. Burger King trimming its chicken nugget meals from 10 pieces to 8, saying it's the first shift in piece count since inception. PepsiCo, the parent company of Gatorade, telling media outlets the new bottle is easier to grab and a little bit more expensive. Procter & Gamble, the parent company of Charmin, telling GMA that it has seen substantial year-over-year -year increases of commodity costs. We're pairing those price increases with innovation wherever possible to continue to deliver great value. Rather than explicitly changing a price, the producer or seller will change the uh, size or quantity that they're selling. Effectively, it's a price increase, even though the price that you observe might not be changing. And that was with Johnson reporting. Now watch out for this. Experts recommend checking the unit price. That's the price per ounce or per pound and so on. That can help you figure out whether you are paying f more for the same product and how to get the best deal. And coming up tonight, it's a tradition like no other. St. Patrick's Day prep is underway, and things are looking green. We'll be right back. See Big Two Sports, brought to you by Glasheen Vias and Enderman Injury Lawyers. The Vineyard, Midland's premier master planned community, impeccable high-end luxury with resort-style amenities. These Silverleaf homes are located close to Green Tree Country Club and are walking distance to Faskin Elementary. Contact Alexa to schedule your private showing. Spring ahead with our top speeds. Get faster internet with Suddenly. Like our high-speed 1 gig internet for just $49.99 a month. With it, you'll get a $200 Visa prepaid card, HBO Max and Included on us for one year and a free Wi-Fi extender for whole home coverage. Get our fastest speed. Plus, with optimal flexibility from Suddenlink, you can choose more of what you want with no hidden fees. And the grass gets greener when you combine with Optimum Mobile for even more savings. Spring into action and sign up at Suddenlink.com or call us at 800-972-5757 today. 
Initial measurement units complete. Begin go, no go terminal count. Sis 1, go. Sis 2, go. Call the launch. We're missing supplies. Ma'am, there's a vehicle approaching the launch pad. Right on time. Order for George? Thanks, partner. We can't orbit on an empty stomach. Get the Planet Fitness Black Card, our most popular membership for zero enrollment and only $22.99 a month. With access to 2,000 plus locations, bring a friend every time you visit. I love friends! And relaxing massage chairs. Mm, that makes me so happy. The PF Black Card is your ticket to all the perks. Look at that glow. Oh, it's all natural. It's this place, I tell you. So get glowing and feel fitacular for zero enrollment and only $22.99 a month. Deal ends Wednesday, March 16th. The new season of Idol is getting mad respect. And Sunday, one audition will make tears flow. You were born enough. American Idol, new Sunday on ABC and stream on Hulu. Well, Chicago is feeling lucky. The most iconic sign of the St. Patrick's Day holiday, the dying of the Chicago River Green. The annual river dying event is followed by the St. Patrick's Day Parade, which is now back after a two-year hiatus due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The river is supposed to remain green for one to three days after St. Patrick's Day. And this is going to change the definition of tea time. American Bay's Guinness Open Gate Brewery is bringing back Guinness Breakfast Tea Amber. Check it out. The brewery debate, excuse me, debuted the beverage in 2019. The 4.8 alcohol by volume Amber Ale is made with real Irish breakfast tea. That is added to steep in the beer during the dry hopping phase. This year it's being sold in four packs of 16 ounce cans. The drink is available for purchase at the brewery in Halthorpe, Maryland. And get this, Hidden Valley Ranch is getting into the diamond industry. The ranch dressing company creating the Ranch Diamond. It's a two carat round brilliant cut diamond that includes heated Hidden Valley Ranch seasoning. The output was crushed and polished. The diamond is then set in a 14 carat white gold band. The whole process taking five months. From now until March 17th, people can bid on the diamond on ranchdiamond.com, the winner will receive the Ranch Diamond just in time for National Proposal Day on March 20th. We'll be right back. This Ashley's Anniversary Sale Celebration Weekend. Friday through Monday only, shop doorbusters up to 25% off. Find this queen panel bed, now only $3.99. Or this upholstered sofa, now only $3.99. Four days only at Ashley. And now, most admired alum. Get up there. This is so embarrassing. There's no way it's me. <laughs> you know her. You love her. What are you doing here? It's Anna Gomez! Who? Our first gazillionaire with AT&T Fiber and has got the fastest internet with hyper gig speed. I didn't know you went to the school. I have a lot in common. Live like a gazillionaire with AT&T Fiber. Now with speeds up to 5 gigs. Limited availability. Hot tub. Hot tub. Hot tub. Millions of dollars of factory drag 2022 inventory. Today and tomorrow. Hector County Coliseum Odessa. Over 100 hot tubs on display and everything must go. Hundreds of spas in stock. All inventory 30 to 60% off. Come see the revolutionary swim spa in action and save up to 60 Trade-ins welcome. We'll even haul away your old hot tub. 18-month interest-free financing. New 2022 inventory. Millions of dollars of inventory must be sold. Hector County Coliseum Odessa. Free admission. Free parking. Call 855-SPA-SALE. The child welfare system is in transition, and we need you to plug yourself in where you can help with this transition and help these children and families heal from their, the abuse and neglect that they've endured. Get involved and get your church involved because families in crisis in our area need to. Get involved because the kids need it. They need some love, they need some support, they need some encouragement, so we would encourage you to find a way to help serve them. Get involved, pb.org. Friday through Monday only at 
Ashley's Anniversary Sale Celebration Weekend. Buy one, get one half off. Plus get 0% interest for 12 months. Or get 0% interest for 4 years with no minimum purchase and no down payment. 4 days only at Ashley. And that's all the time we have for news tonight. We'll see you tomorrow night at 10 o'clock. Good night.